Good morning. How's it going, everyone? Holy cow, we've already got Bard, Psycho Ghost Rider, and Goma Black Magic. Hello, hello. Sup and yo. Hey, guys. How's everyone doing today? And have you had your coffee? I'm drinking out. It's Halloween already. I'm drinking out my ghost mug. I love this mug. It's really hard to drink out of, though. It's it's not a very pleasant mug <laughs> to drink from, but it just looks cool. Hey, Lonely Traveler and Owens and Mark Bruinton and Marcus. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Yo. What the fuck was that noise? Who's dropping shit? Who just broke something? What the hell? All right. <laughs> Hey, and Joe Schmo is with us. Hello, Joe Schmo. Um, okay. We have. Let's see. What is this? Oh, the bike. Um, bike challenge. Bike thingy. Whatever the fuck it's called. Bounty hunter. And then the polystyrene. I really want to go get these nests. We can probably do those ones. Um, and what else do we have left to do? Really just that. All right, let's go do the bike mission first. All right, we have the BFG. That's not my bike. <laughs> Where's my bike? Where the fuck is my bike? Why is it over here? What is going on? Where am I? Why? What? Why is my bike all the way over there? What happened? Is it outside? Is my bike over there? Oh my word, it is. Look, 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 look. It's glitched. Oh, shit. There it is. <laughs> I definitely did not leave my bike parked there. Pretty sure that's not where I left it. Hey, Ash. Good morning. Lonely Traveler says, needed to switch the TV off and come and join you all. Ah, What were you watching? What was on TV? All right, I guess we got to go recover my bike. Can we... We're not allowed to... I cannot recover in current state because I'm in the camp? Maybe? Oh, fuck it. We'll just pay. We'll just pay. We've got 35,000 credits. We can afford the 50 bucks if needs be to get the mechanic to do it. Deke. Corporal. Yo, bring me my hey. bike. Sarge. Um, okay. Oh, okay. we'll just refuel and repair. Okay. Bing, there it is. Corporal St. John, Deke. See you around. That was really weird. That's a weird start to the day. Only Traveler says, I changed my thumbnail pick. It's Deacon with a mod on. Cool. Obscure by Ink is with us. A <laughs> nice park parking area, says Mark. Oh, you were watching about the Queen. Had a good cry this morning. You know, I. It's weird. Like, I'm. Obviously, the Queen has reigned through the entirety of my life and my parents' lives. She was queen before they were even born. Um, my grandma was really kind of into the queen. Uh, growing up, I was never... There was like in the 90s, I guess, there was like a sort of a distaste for the monarchy, um, especially around the whole Diana thing. And that kind of influenced my opinion. So I've never been like pro-royal family. I know in the past decade or so... 15 years or so, that's changed in Britain. There's a lot more um, love for the royal family. I'm not entirely sure why I, I have not been there in 
that time. Um, but I definitely kind of picked up on that. And so it is really sad. I'm like kind of torn because like I don't, I never really felt much affinity for the royal family, but also like she was the fucking queen. She was the fucking queen. So I am kind of sad. I'm surprised at myself for being really sad about it. It's sad when anyone dies, you know. Well, most people. Because, you know, even... Even people we don't like for whatever reasons, like, they're still real people with family that love them and, you know. Well, that's always sad. Whoa, that's... What is following me? Hey, hold on everyone. Hello, the traveler returns. Yes. How'd it go? Thank you. Well, just fine. You wanna say good morning to everyone? Good morning to everyone. Hi. We were talking about the queen. About what? The queen. Oh yeah. yeah about yeah. what he says. I didn't hear you. <laughs> Do you know who the queen is? I mean I thought you meant the ant queen. Oh, he's thinking we're talking about the ant queen. We had ants this morning. So I've already got up, swept the floors, uh, vacuumed the rugs, put one rug in the wash, mopped the floors. No more ants. Ants are like, nah, where are our spilled cinnamon toast crunch crumbs? I didn't, I didn't wipe down the sofa where Finn spilled that sugar this morning. It's the only bit I didn't get. I'm sure, so don't, we'll to, I'm sure we'll need to clean it later. Don't sit on it. I'll clean it in a bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, you were the same when Diana died, Lonely Traveler. Oh, Jay Stabby is with us. Jay Stabby says hugs to all you lovely UK peeps. Uh, Owens, it's amazing this channel only has 563 subscribers. This is way too entertaining for that to be the case. Feel free to share it on social media or tell your friends or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I just love doing it. I... I there was a while where I was like asking people to subscribe on like alt accounts because I wanted to get up to 500 so I could unlock some of the tools that YouTube has uh, kind of behind the barrier of 500 subscribers, which is really dumb. Uh, but now we're there. Um, you know, obviously, I would love to grow the channel and we are growing the channel. Uh, but I'm I'm like, I love doing this. I don't do it for the numbers. I don't do it for the glory. There's no glory in it. <laughs> Um, my mother lived in London, says Marcus, between 57 and 70. Oh, she is very sad now. Yeah. Mark says, good morning, Spornicus. Rex needs to read audiobooks. He's got that Morgan Freeman voice. I know. He's working on that. Um, Jess is with us. Hello, Jess. Beware of those bear traps. I already <laughs> found them and set them there. My bear traps now. Romance novel audiobooks as Darren. I told him that too. Those bodice ripping ones, you know, with the princess and the, uh, the stable boy. Her bosom heaves in the tight bodice as her breath is drawn quicker and quicker with his approach. Their fingers brush. His face flushes. <laughs> that kind of shit. I don't know. I don't, I don't read them. Alrighty. Now, what would happen? What would happen if I parked my bike right in the way of where this guy drives? Now, does he drive? He does drive around this way, right? He drives here. What would happen if I left my bike like that? Let's find out. He does drive down this path, right? He comes down this path. He doesn't drive this way. He goes on the path there. And then he fucks off up here. Let's find out. Save it. Through. Did I just save it? Save it. What do we got? Still got them. Colonel, spotted him. It's him, all right. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Didn't even need to worry about it. <laughs> BFG will take care of that bitch.
Hey, passion flower. Perfect sexy timing. What did you do? What did I do? I shot you off the bike with a fucking BFG. Did you not notice that bit where you got shot off the bike? He has an SMP9. Take it, Deke. Take the bullets. Okay, what the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it. Uh, Michael, please, just let me go. I'll, I'll tell you what Captain I, Caffeine, I, good morning. Sorry, pal. I told to the colonel. Lonely Traveler, you tried to put a bomb there. It didn't work. Yeah, I've tried that before. Last time I played this, I forgot to pick up my BFG. I had the... MG55 or whatever. Um, and so I was trying to set like proximity mines, but he goes over them too quick. I have seen on uh, Reddit people throw grenades at him. But the timing of that Colonel, seems tricky. I've got him alive. Transmitting coordinates now. I'm sending a patrol now. Report back to me. He's freaking out about freaks. Is he crying? Are you crying? I really wish we could take his gun or his ammo. I mean, you really should disarm someone that you're just leaving tied up. <laughs> Stigman, hello. And Joni. Yeah, the timing ain't good. This is Lonely Traveler. Maybe a Molotov. <gasps> Ooh, that would have been fun. Napalm Molotov would be fun. I mean, I, you can't get the Napalm Molotov. So this is a story mission. Hey, my bike got moved. This is not where I left it. Oh, let's get some stuff. Some scrap. Yeah, scrap. I love these things. They're so fucking cool. I love this kind of shit. I love topographic maps and, and little models like this. What's that? What was that noise? What is that noise? What the fuck? Oh. That's so cool, you never get to see him just... Whoa! That cougar just exploded! <laughs> what the fuck? What did I shoot? What was behind it? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Anyone want some unlucky fried kitten for breakfast? Five cougar meat. I didn't realize there was a barrel or... I don't know what was there, but that was a perfect shot. Anyway, I was saying, you rarely get to hear them just creeping around. That, that sounded so cool. Hearing its low little growl. Can we make anything? We are full up. I guess we could make a smoke bomb. And pick up a rag. Damn, that was cool. Yeah, take the knife at least. Um... Captain Caffeine is saying, how do Molotovs work in general? <laughs> I assume you mean for the bike chain. I don't know if they would work. It would be tricky. Um, Bard says, I once took him out with a feather duster and a slinky. Did you? <laughs> or did you do something else with that feather duster and a slinky? What would you do with the slinky? Uh, Owen says, Queen Elizabeth served longer than any other ruler in history except for Louis XIV. He was made king at age five. Holy shit, I didn't know that. I do know, I saw a statistic that Queen Elizabeth uh, ruled for 30% of American history, like the history of the United States. Like she was queen for 30% of that time, which is crazy. Gas can, that was what I blew up. Yeah, Lonely Traveler, do. Do send that in the Discord. <laughs> Dang exploding cats. Love that the cougars are so quiet, stalking you, says Captain Caffeine. 
<laughs> that cougar had some serious gas, says Mr. Eight Ball Paul. Hello and good morning. That's funny. <laughs> hey, and Rex is with us. Good morning. I'll be popping in and out while I get stuff done around the house. Great to see you all here. What are you doing around the house, sir? I already cleaned the floors. Okay, what are we doing next? Polystyrene. Let's go do that. Oh, there was, there was more uh, scrap. Oh, we are actually kind of low on scrap. That's unusual. Well, by low, I mean we have 15, not 20. Oh shit. Run, 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 run. No, don't shoot me. Who? Hmm? Oh. Let that freak do his thing. Go, freak. No, 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 no. Go the other way. Oh, there we go. There we go. Have a flashbang. Go on, freak. Get him. Get him. Fuck yeah. Fuck him up. Aw. Oh. All right, I guess we'll do this my way. Where are you? Who else? I know there was someone inside. I saw a flashlight inside there. Still have music? Yeah, I see movement on the map. Ooh, where'd your head go? Where's your face? Did you lose it? Now I got there we go. Where are you? Aha! Got it. Finally. Hmm. Where did they go? All right, let's use the photo mode trick. Yeah, there he is. Beneath the cherry and blue raspberry flavored slushy things, which don't look very slushy. Is it just you? So he's all right. He's in the oh, there's a med kit. He's in the main part here, just through that door. Gotcha. Boom. Okay, here we go. I tell you what, that trick is so fucking useful. You just hit R three, and you have to be fairly close to them. Um, but yeah, you can just find out where they are and where they're looking for you. You know, wherever they're facing, and just don't be there. Oh, my make it. I, oh, yeah, I'm full up. All right, let's catch up on the chat. Uh, Rex says, Morning Cap, I've noticed that the cats are so stealthy, you can't target them with L1 while they're stalking you. You can't target them until they actively, uh, actually start attacking. I once hypnotized one of the cougars, says Bard, and convinced them they were a chipmunk. <laughs> Is it possible to get every skill, says Psycho Ghost Rider? Yes, definitely. Uh, in fact, that reminds me, we do have a skill point. 
Uh, let's see. We were working on... We almost have all of them. Now we're just pretty much into the ones that are kind of all right to have, but I don't really use them. Oh, we wanted the melee increases the damage of both crafted and found melee weapons. Fuck yes. But yeah, we will absolutely have all the skills unlocked by the end of the game. Definitely. Hey, why so serious? What's up? Um, Lonely Traveler says, so my PS4 did the update yesterday and it, I was killing some hordes. Five screamers turned up. It was, oh heck, I used up all my stamina. Damn. Captain Caffeine says, wow, never knew that, Rex. I'm just targeting visually because by that time it's too late and I'm just shooting. Yeah, you. I don't think I've ever got the drop on a cougar before or rarely. Only if they're attacking something else and I happen to drive by. Five screamers. Yep. Must have been fun. Uh, Joe Schmo has some important links for us. Thank you, Joe. Please, a reminder to everyone watching, please hit the like button. It really helps me with the algorithm and everything. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you're watching this after the fact, leave a comment. That also helps. And if you would like to contribute to the channel, I can put a link on the screen when my stream deck wants to work. There we go. Um, you can do so at buymeacoffee.com slash 8 Terror. The link is also there in the chat. Um Two different types of memberships, or sorry, two different types of contributions you can make. You can do one-time contribution, which helps me out immensely, um, and uh, and you get your name up on the opening screen for the uh, for the the stream opening and closing screens. And you can also become a member of the channel, which is an, a monthly or an annual sort of subscription, I guess. And there are lots of different levels. They start at a dollar and go up from there. And there are various different perks. You will get your name up on the screen. Um, and you also get uh, different perks like stickers and teas and things like that. So, yeah, go check it out. Uh, but while we're on the subject, I want to give a shout out to my channel members, Miranda Satin, B.O.P. and Captain Caffeine. Thank you so much, guys. It is always appreciated. Uh, we also have merch. If you want to check out the merchandise, T-shirts, tanks, long sleeve tees, sweaters, kid stuff, art prints, mugs, pins, stickers, notebooks various different things uh days gone podcast .threadless .com. we have two different days gone inspired designs which are super fucking cool and i pay my artist well for those uh so uh, yeah go check him out she's really talented um her name if you want to follow her on instagram she's graphic mystic and uh yeah she's super fucking talented so two awesome designs and then we have the spornicus rex stuff as well get to see what he looks like get his face on a t-shirt uh, J Stabby says, I can feel my next playthrough coming on so I can try the crossbow and the camera trick. I need to get better with photo mode too. I always think I've taken a good picture until I go to post it. That's how you get good at it. You take more pictures and then you learn from looking at it and try to try to like see why it didn't work. You know, did you have like the camera position wrong? Is it too close, too far away? Are the colors not right? Like try to really sort of break down why it's not working and that's how you get better um where else what have i missed oh my god lonely traveler they all screamed all at once those five screamers holy shit goma just ex escaped from carlos's and i'm restocking my gunpowder nest residue spark igniters and kerosene oh you're gearing up for a fight Hey, Lonely Traveler, you've like, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, talking about screamers, says Captain Caffeine. Has anyone experienced them running? Yes. Yes, it's so weird. The first time I saw that, I thought it was a glitch. I was like, what the fuck? The way they run is the creepiest thing. People talk about the humming. I think the running is the creepiest thing because they're always like, boop, 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 because they're like little old ladies. And then they go, dug -a -dug -a -dug -a -dug, and they run with their arms like a little T-Rex or something. It's fucking weird. It's really fucking weird. Obscured says, question, if you leave your bike out in the shit, do marauders fuck with it? I was at 100 when I left, zero when I got back. What? They actually did sabotage it? I've never had that happen. I've seen them fuck with it, but I've always killed them. I've never come back and found it fucked up. But yeah, I guess that, that would happen. 
It's like a creepy old lady shuffling across the screen. Yeah. Photo mode has way too many working parts for Goma. Watch the uh, the Ben Studio stream they did. Was it last week? The week before? A couple of weeks ago, they did one on photo mode. And it's it's really cool. Kevin kind of breaks down all the tricks for doing it. If you're interested. Mm -mm. Coffee. All right. Let's refuel. Now we filled the area with bodies. Headless corpses. And then let's get out of here before a cougar shows up. And teaches me not to let my guard down. Gone. We'll see if we can find a screamer running around. There's a wolf. I knew I saw something moving. And then we'll hang him. A fair hanging by the neck, not too dead. God, the uh, colonel yes, is just like trial. Then, eager uh, to kill hanging. people. Just <clears throat> in, no, 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 oh, sniper. Sniper, where? D uh, duck, please. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck off. Sometimes there are people hiding in this barn. Maybe it's, it could be over here, because there is a really good little setup over here that's great for loot. Love this. I bet this is where they are. Let's find out. I don't see anyone. Hmm. Did anyone see anything? Hey, Ben Holt is with us. Hey, Ben. All right, so they're not here. This is a really, <clears throat> excuse me, a really nice place to pick up lots and lots of loot. If you will care. <clears throat> no, I'm trying to drop the fuel can, Deacon. Who was that mushroom? It was. So yeah, we are just by the farmhouse and everything, uh, by the Bear Bay ambush camp, and it's just this little settlement here. You kind of don't see it from the road, uh, but it is really, really good for, for loot. And there are quite often bad guys here as well. Kerosene, gunpowder, pipe, I think. Is that? I think that's a pipe. Nails. Spark igniters, more kerosene. Oh, we are literally full up on everything. Can't pick anything up. More stuff in here. There's tons of kerosene. So yeah, really good place to come. To stock up. I don't see the sniper. They said there was a sniper. He said there was a sniper, but I don't see it. Unless he's in this farmhouse. Hmm. All right, let's catch up on the chat. Uh, Lonely Traveler says their scream goes through me and the humming is weird shit. Oh yeah, Captain Caffeine, thank you for mentioning that. I actually forgot. Uh, I had a podcast episode on photo mode. 
Yeah, the Ben Studio stream is where we learn the trick to move the camera to NPCs. Yeah, someone in the chat mentioned it. They just said, oh yeah, you can press R3. And then I immediately thought, oh, I bet we can use that for combat. Um, Obscure says, yeah, I was talking, I was, sorry, I was taking out the second Shemalt horde when I slayed everything. I had to fucking repair the bike. Damn. Yeah, Stickman, good advice. Don't try to learn all the photo mode controls at once, just a few at a time. Uh, Jay Stabby says, I've never had it take me down to zero, but I've definitely noticed that it's been partially sabotaged at times. Um, <clears throat> Joni says, Claire did... <clears throat> excuse me. Claire, did I misunderstand? I thought you said... You did another podcast video. I haven't seen it. Oh, yes. It's not on YouTube yet. Sorry. It's, there is another podcast episode. I forgot to process it because I have to manually do it to put it on YouTube. It's supposed to be automatic, but it never actually does it automatically. Thank you for reminding me. I absolutely will do that. I will get that up today. Sorry about that. Uh, you can also listen to it on um, any podcast app. Amazon Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Apple, uh, iTunes Podcasts. Um, you can go to the website. What is it? Days Gone. Days Gone Pod. Podbean.com, I think. It's also on Spotify. Um, so you can listen to it there, but I will put it up on YouTube. Sorry, I completely forgot. But thank you for reminding me. Uh, Jay Stabby says, I've noticed if you're not close enough to get knocked off the bike, but close enough for the wavy screen the bike will slow down ah, with the screamers i know that if you shoot a screamer with a residue bolt she will scream and then all the freaks will attack her she doesn't scream to summon them she screams uh she's still doing her scream but it actually draws the freaks onto her which is kind of cool did i hear the queen died yesterday i did ben i did we're all very sad about it by we i mean the Commonwealth. Uh, Passionflower says, Ben Studios has done a photo mode episode of Days Gone a couple weeks ago. They stream on Twitch at 5 p.m. on Fridays, then usually put the video up on YouTube later. Yeah. Okay. Bit more coffee, and then we'll go find someone to kill. Is there anyone here? I don't think there's anyone here. I don't see anyone on the map. Unless they're like lying in wait for me. Sometimes they are over here, like setting a trap on the road. Nope, not getting any other any NPCs popping up. I wish you were hidden in the cornfield. It doesn't actually hide you. Oh, I never noticed this was here. Unless it's the sniper over there. Oh, it's just weird that he said sniper and then there's like no sniper. Watch him spawn in now and just shoot me off the bike. someone did I hear a voice I swear I heard someone say freaks now who is this and there's some ooh there's some kerosene here these are always really sad okay freaking coming let's go Goma says, you can explain it to me, but you can't understand it for me. (laughs) 
Uh, Jay Sabby, you're definitely playing more with the crossbow next playthrough. Awesome. I really enjoyed it. And the last playthrough I did, I, I really focused more on doing the crossbow. And you can get really good with it. Don't forget that explosive bolts have no bullet drop. So if you need to make a really distant sniper shot, use an explosive bolt. Unless you need to be super stealthy. Um... Captain Caffeine says, there's the another reason I love the SMP9. I can do drive-by on a screamer before they scream and knock me off the bike. The little stubby doesn't have enough range. And the SMP9 shoots more rounds instead of a pistol to stun her. Mm-hmm. Yep. Friendly mod reminder to fuck top chat. <laughs> uh, you're not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Oh, don't say that. There's a plastic doggy bone in that house. Nice. You always find the dog bones for Jack. The locations are in your Days Gone notebook. Oh. On photo mode, I managed to get the MG55 in action like a fireball coming out of it. Nice. All right, let's see if we can find all the polystyrene. Okay. There's one. I just gotta find Weaver's shit. Polystyrene. Polystyrene. Two. Oh, here's some. Three. Oh, here's some. <laughs> Four. Uh, almost oh, enough. here's some. Five. Just a few more. Six. And then there's the one that we always miss. Fuck. There. Seven. This ought to do Yay. It. I'll mark the rest on my map. Have Corey send some men out here to get the rest. We did it. Mr. Eight Ball Paul says a notebook is a great idea. I think I need to start doing that. Yes. I have I have mine. I actually um I've got a new notebook coming. I'm going to transpose all my notes, but I have my little notebook and it's broken up into each region. And then I have like hordes to take out ASAP for some of the early regions, general tips, and then I have loot locations on each page. Um, I have a note to check. Is there an SMP-9 on the body near the visitor center when on the Thunder Egg mission or the Rescue Lisa mission? That's my next playthrough. Don't have much for Iron Butte apart from loot locations. Um, Crater Lake. What else do I have? And then at the end, I just have... I think I was trying to... Trying to figure out with the up the ante skill what the maximum gun capacity is. But I didn't finish doing that. I have crossbow notes. And that's it. And a few little random notes, like about freakers, uh, uh, about screamers and stuff. Yeah, that's my notebook. <laughs> Jay Stabby, I have a boring notebook uh, now, but I just ordered a Fox Schizo one. I'm doing exactly the same. I got one of those coming as well. Let's uh, get the hell out of here before a horde comes through. Let's get out of here before a horde comes through. Okay, where are we going now? Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I guess we should just go back to Wizard Island. Return polystyrene. Polystyrene. We have an, a camp job left at Lost Lake. Six of seven. Hmm. See, what do we have else going on? We still have lots of jobs. We have two hordes left to kill. Um, and then, yeah, that's about it. And then over here, we have more to do. Um, we've done all the ambush camps. We have one infestation zone, which we can't get to yet. Uh, one Nero checkpoint to do. 
Oh, that's the one in there, which we can't get to yet. Uh, we have <laughs> 11 hordes to do, most of which have not populated in yet. And a research site, which is that one. Which we'll do when we get the next nitrous. Uh, so yeah, not much going on. Let's head back to Wizard Island. Ooh, that was a hard landing. That would have broken the forks. Definitely, if this were real. Whoops, oops, oops, slow down, slow down. <laughs> Came in a little too hot on that rock. It's a beautiful, bright, sunny morning. Look at that sky. Okay, anybody here? Apparently not. Let's catch up with the chat. Thundercat is with us. Hello, Thundercat. Um, Joni. Is asking about the dog bones. How many did you find? I found five in the northern regions, four in the southern regions. I feel like I'm missing one. Um, Jay Sabby says, no, I think that's the count I have. You'll put it on Discord later when you get home. Thundercat says, funny how you can find gunpowder and kerosene by the dozens, but it's harder than hell to find one stinking can sometimes. That's because you have to know where to look. Uh, there is a great list of crafting materials on Reddit. I believe it was done by D. Marlow, D. Marlow 310, who is one of the OG Days Gone experts. Um, maybe Rex or Joe could put a link to that in the chat, but that is really useful. Um, <clears throat> it's basically the entire map and a list of where you can find everything. How many cans, how many gunpowders, kerosenes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but there are lots of cans. If you look around the... Um, Good place to find them is right here. The abandoned military outpost is really good. Um, fuck, where else? Uh, the... Shit, I know the ones in Lost Lake better than I know here. Um, we have found some. We have found quite a few. And now I'm just blanking. I'll point them out as we find them. But yeah, check out that uh, that map. It's really, really useful. Passionflower says, I'd like to get a laminated map of the regions that you can write on with an erasable marker. I think I'll start a notebook as well. Thanks for the idea. Awesome. I have my notes on when hordes spawn. That's what I need to add to mine. Best places for certain materials. Just anything I run across I think is helpful. Yeah, I definitely need to expand mine. Um, you you guys are so well prepared for the apocalypse. I just uh, let Deacon go out there and wander around. We're prepared for this specific apocalypse. <laughs> we would fail in any other apocalypse. Um, cans can be ridiculous. Uh, a lot of the kitchens will have at least one. There's a Nero checkpoint. Palette, I think there's a little bit of everything. That's the one down by the Loba Drawridge horde. This does have a lot of stuff here. That one is really good. Uh, the map will be awesome. I think IGN has one online where you can check stuff off, but I don't remember what all is on it. Yeah, they have one that has like hordes and uh, fuel and things like that. Lonely Traveler says, at Sponicus Rex, I followed your video four cans in one spot. Fuck yeah. There's the link, thank you Rex, to the crafting materials map. Much appreciated. Um, all right, let's head home.
Don't run in front of me, dear. I'm trying not to kill you. Bear trap! My leg! My leg! Oh, wait. That was my bear trap. I said that. Hey, that's a long drive. It's kind of fun watching them all do their little workouts, but... Here we go. Oh, I didn't refill my ammo. Damn it. Oh well. Not super important right now. Let's watch a cutscene. Hey. I got the shit you were asking for. Oh, good. Just says, oh, well, let's there. head home, says 8 Bit Terror, as she runs over the corpses of dudes she killed earlier. Let me get a piece. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and don't forget Rex's hidden loot uh, locations video where you so can pick up all the fully crafted items. Whitaker. If you're doing that, you probably won't I need mean. as many cans. <laughs> I see you coming and going, man. You're doing a lot of runs for her. Yeah, oh, those are in Jay Stabby's notebook, too. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> Come with your yeah, taunting schizo. That once, when I first got here. How'd that go for you, Weaver? Is that right? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, that lady's got a fine ass. I'm an ass man. I can't help myself. Yeah, yeah. How'd that work out for you? Well, not too good. I mean, she threw me down on the ground, tried to break my goddamn arm. Listen up. You need to watch yourself with her. That lady's intense. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh... You know anything else? <laughs> Mr. Uh, Able Paul, no, if the zombie slash freaker apocalypse happened, all of us in the Days Gone community are fleeing to Oregon. We'd all know the territory. Captain Caffeine says this an interaction is so funny. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go throw some Molotovs. Holy shit, the slow walking. Gasoline is made up of simple aliphatic hydrocarbons. You try saying that. Anyway, mix the two together, all those molecular chains break up into single covalent bonds. Yeah, everybody knows that. <laughs> Come on, Weaver. Get your shit together. Get over here. My friend is a napalm molotov, and that is how we're gonna win this war. Once I fine tune the formula, that shit's gonna burn hotter than an acetylene torch. <laughs> yeah, I got a pretty good idea. Yeah, the Deacon knows. I worked in an auto shop. Do you need anything else? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, go much so your least favorite go. mission, Kaboom. the dam with Boozer. Gonna blow up and burn. <laughs> I'm an ass man. <laughs> Now, what is this mission coming up? And where are we on the Horde Killer? So we did get our MG55. Yes. All right, I am going to... Looks like isn't doing their job. I go get the MG55. 
rather than the BFG. Corporal St. John. Corporal St. John. Oh, this, is, this is some primo shit, let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah, okay. gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> Credit burning a hole in your man first, or what? Yep. Definitely. Oh, we're full up on everything, apart from flashbangs, which I don't yeah, care okay. about. Corporal Top off the bike. Yeah. I'll see you around, Deep. yeah? Corporal. Hey. Hey, Sarge. Okay. Corporal St. John, Adik. See you around. Yep, yep. Corporal Deacon St. <laughs> John. John. Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. It's... This is just really frustrating for me sometimes. Rex has a good point there. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I just need another we'll talk about position it for him. After this cutscene. No, you know what? I'm I, I'm not gonna give this one to you. Why? Why not? Cause I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. I love such. I love how she puts on a like little. Yeah, I'm in charge here. Kind Come of little soldier. struts. See if you but, can keep up with me. Yeah, kind right. of. Uh, she's doing it kind of jokingly. I think. I mean, you know, out in the shed. Hey. I've done supply runs like anyone else. I gotta admit, it's been a while. At least we can run in this one. Do you even have a bike? Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Stop uh -huh. with... Hey, you, uh, you been inside the Ark yet? Uh, the cave's here. Yeah, I got the grand tour when I arrived. From the colonel himself. Come on, even you gotta give the man some credit. For the vision, stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Stop here, this is my tent. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. Oh, right. <laughs> Hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? Yeah. The Colonel. Oh, Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. <laughs> mm. How far she's come, how much she's changed. Uh, so Rex says, wait. Doc Jimenez tells Deacon that the Colonel allows a certain amount of razzing. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Hold on, Sarah. Uh, between officers makes me wonder if he was referencing the incident between Weaver and Sarah uh, and he chose not to intervene in a minor incident between officers. Hmm. Uh, maybe the colonel chose not to reprimand Weaver because Sarah handled him quite admirably herself. Could be. Uh, Captain Caffeine says, remember the colonel did give Sarah a gun. Yeah. Uh, the colonel is definitely pitting them against one another uh, as to who gets the materials for their projects. Yeah. Uh, Psycho Ghost Rider has a question. Is the army outfit a skin you can put back on? No, unfortunately you don't have any control over the, the skins or the outfits that they wear, uh, the Deacon wears. It's just tied to where you are in the game. You don't get to change it later. Which is, I kind of, although it takes you out of the story, it makes it more... Uh, of a, it's more of a fun game kind of mechanic rather than a uh, like story specific thing. It would be fun to change it. At least, uh, definitely when you finish the game, it would be fun to be able to change that if you're just running around and you put Deacon in whichever outfit you want him to be in. Uh, Joe has some important links. Thank you there, Mr. Joe. The first one is buymeacoffee.com slash 8bitterror. Uh, this is a place to go if you would like to support the channel and contribute uh, we have two different types, uh, two different ways you can do that. You can do a one-time contribution, 
or you can become a channel member and becoming a channel member is oh, I it's it helps me out so much. I'm so grateful to my channel members. Uh, the levels start at a dollar a month, so you can become a member for just a dollar a month. Uh, you get your name on the opening and closing screens. You get shout outs. Uh, you get certain perks. There's like stickers and buttons and tees and things like that. So go check out the levels. Like I said, they start at a dollar and go up from there. Buymeacoffee.com slash 8BitTerror. And that just really helps support the channel. Helps me with all the equipment, all the games and stuff that I buy. Uh, and all the content, the exciting content I produce. You can also get much at daysgonepodcast.threadless.com. Uh, that's where you can go to check out all the mugs, art prints, stickers, pins, uh, t-shirts, long sleeve tees, sweaters, tanks, kid stuff, a whole bunch of stuff there. Uh, go check it out. We have some awesome designs over there. Uh, and we have a Discord. Make sure you come join the Discord. The link is there in the chat. And Joe has also put a link into the chat for the latest podcast episode on Spotify. I will be dropping that on YouTube. Sorry, I got a little behind. I'll do that today. Uh, so you can watch that or watch. There's no video, but you can listen to it on YouTube. But for now, you can listen on Spotify or any podcasting app. Uh, Rex says, I like the way Sarah told Deacon, yeah, just said it over there. Like in her mind, they're still close. Like they've still been living together for years. She's busy and just wants to keep working. Yes, absolutely. Following you. When I got here, right, where'd she go? The militia had cut almost you? every tree on the island. There she I is. asked Matt, the colonel, to save the last one. Oh, yeah, well, why did you uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I remember. Little mini remember. honeymoon weekend getaway. God, when Mount Mazama blew up, how long did it take? The lava to cool and the soil to form, all these trees to grow. When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Oh, There's quite listen, a few. These guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. Look, the colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. Mmm. Sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. She's not just trying to save mankind. She's trying to save, like, all of the world. Like, the trees, the plants. I mean, obviously, she's a botanist. That's what she's into. Um, yeah, she's just trying to fucking stop the death and destruction. <clears throat> What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just... Never mind. It's just memories. Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. I remember. Happy memories that make you sad. There's a community college east of here. Off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take the south bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you. Beep. We're crashing into a tractor. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a beer side. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. I like that they choose to take the south bridge, which means driving through more of the camp, seeing her snuggled up to Deacon on the bike, past all these people. Or maybe it's just because it's quicker. Can I ask you something? After that night in Farewell, what happened? I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we were we thought that you were gonna be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. 
If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh, but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, uh, my turn. Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but um, that night in farewell, my mongrels ring. Do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know. I was just oh, thinking shit. out loud. Oh, it doesn't shit. Matter. There's a wall. Here, I think this is it. There we go. James Guan! Oh wow, Once, are you already this far into the game? Fuck yeah. yeah. Career day. They invited I like how no one in the camp over the, overheard them talking about their honeymoon. <laughs> Good point, Captain Caffeine. What? Nothing, just... Looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. I like how Deacon pretends he didn't know where the ring was. How are yeah. We get through this? Should we find a way around? I'm with Deacon. I'll no, always wonder how Corey on. ended up with a ring when they supposedly melt all that down. I just imagine it's it's not silver. You know, it might not be solid silver. It might be plated, or it might not be um, val you know, valuable to the project in any yeah. way. So it just goes in a pile. Oh, I don't it. really know why Corey was that interested in it, it. or why he Here, wanted to wear the ring, got any it. ring, you know, that one or any other. Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps, set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long mm. before I got here. This entire place is going to be crawling. Yeah. Do you yep. know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once. We're full up on everything. You can hear all the freaks from here. <laughs> Captain Gavin, come on! It's a ring with a dog biting through a chain. Who wouldn't want that? Bring the whole place down in this. Good point. Know what's in there? Well, we know what's in there. A bunch of goddamn noobs. Now come on, let's just go around. Yeah, Passion Flower. We could ask Kevin on uh, Ben's stream tonight. Definitely. Come on, let's go. How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look barricaded. Can you jimmy it? I think I can get this. Obscure bank, you love this mission. Bard, you have Got that it. ring. I have that ring too. I bought the wrong size. It doesn't fit me. Coming. But I, I have a nickel allergy, so I can't wear a lot of jewelry anyway. Um, so I just have it sitting. Uh, I think it's up on my shelf. I don't actually know where I put it. Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on. Okay. You ready? Ah, Captain Caffeine yeah, says there is a can in front of the door where they saw the new. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let me find another way. No, wait a second. Wait a second. Look at that freak right there. He's right there. He's gonna see us. We can do this. Uh, if we both go out there. We're just gonna pull them down on top of each other. So, wait a second. What if you come up on top of here? You lay down covering fire. You take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just <laughs> I do this all the time. All right? Mm -hmm. Deacon. Once I'm through, just close this up to me. All right. Ooh. 
Oh, Deacon's face is ready for a fucking fight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Come on down. It's clear. He okay? Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. I know the stuff to pick up in here as well. There we go. There's like gunpowder, a growler, and a collectible on the wall. I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. Now, you can get in here, I think, once they bust this window open. You can climb in there. I'll look over here. Actually. Anything? No. Never know what hit him. I mean, hey, we have the materials. Over here, In fact, hold on. Window. Come on. We build a couple more and then go pick up that gunpowder. Nope, wrong door. Coming. Yeah. Now, I wonder if I can plant a bomb here for later. Yeah, that's all show up here later. Let's try that. Let's plant a couple yeah, yeah, I'm coming. remote bombs. See if they stay here. You got it? That freak sounded like Lady Gaga yes. singing yeah, Bad it. Romance. Hold on, let me oh, find shit. Oh, uh, that shit's blown up already. Hold on. Gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit. Damn, okay, that one was set way too early. Oh, shit, shit, shit. God damn it! Uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! Mm, wasn't really well, well positioned. There we go. Spark igniter. And that's it. You can just feel the impact of the auto shotty. It's so badass. I know. I fucking love it. Uh, so I'm playing right now, says Rex, and fucking around with the crossbow, but I'm really wishing you could reset camp jobs along with the hordes and ambush camps. That would be a cool feature to do in Days Gone 2. Yeah. That would be good. <laughs> Lonely Traveler. Sarah's on it like a car bonnet. I like that saying. Here, let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Maybe one did. Come on. I think we can get through here. Oh, Rex Door's says I just caught the coolest here. fucking photo mode I capture. Got I got it. Discord that shit. Or Instagram. Right now. See, Do it. I told you. I see. see? Like I said, I got this. <laughs> mm-hmm. She Pretty can handle herself, Deke. So, uh, how bad? 
badly do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. Just asking. I know there's stuff to pick up in the next room, but Someone needed to learn how to I think we are uh, Shit. pretty much full up on everything. Huh. Uh, check and I hate the slow walking. Come on, come on, come on. Let me run. There is some ammo. Some Ah, there it is. Yeah. Come on, let's go over here. Oh, Sarah. I can see the science building. It's over there. There's got to get through these barriers. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time you... Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. I know the yeah, camp exactly. jobs are tied to story. Go. To wait. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Hey, in charge. Hold on. Hold on a second. Um, I know camp jobs are tied to story, but surely once you finish the story, they should all be available again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It would be fun. Uh, Passionfly says, I wonder if resetting camp jobs could be DLC. How hard would that be to do? Probably probably not very hard. I'm not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. <clears throat> Got it. Uh oh. Damn it! No! Ah! Sarah! Sarah! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, sir! God damn it, Sarah! 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 He's like looting no. stuff. Damn it. No, Sarah! Sarah! Where are you? Come on, answer me! Home of the you? fighting platypi. I'm gonna kill every one of you fucking. No, there was a bottle there I wanted to pick up. Sarah. Damn it. Sarah. Sarah. Spoiler alert, says Obscure Bank, but do you know if the names written on the whiteboard that we're seeing soon are developers or question mark? Anyone know? They are it was supposed to, well, I'll talk after the scene. God oh my god, there's there are so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. I'm fine. Ooh. Come on, we're almost there. The lockdown on those emotions was fast and hard. James says, Deke's pronunciation of Sarah is a little odd. Sarah! Sarah! Yeah. Uh, that sense of loss again that Deacon must have felt when Sarah got ambushed. Mm -hmm. The terror in his voice when he thinks he's going to lose her yeah, again. Looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's got to be a way in. So the, the, the names on the whiteboards, hey, I've read or heard that the, um, yeah. the names were written on a whiteboard by the... Oh, by the team, the developers, but I don't know if it's their fire. actual names. Let's, Let's check this door. Can you open it? Open. No, it's jammed from the inside. I think it might be like fake names or something, but they did supposedly write it and then take a photograph of it. <laughs> Sarah, wine. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, Passionfly was totally something Jammed. to ask Ben on their stream tonight. Hold on, hold on for a second. Those are those are newts. Those are newts in there, which means there's got to be a way from the roof. Come on. They didn't sound like newts to me. Come on, the roof's lower over here. Yep, we just have to. Find a way up. Nothing good in here. There's that bottle I wanted.
Sarah, here, uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? He's a freak whisperer. Yeah. Okay, push. <laughs> Deacon's a freak expert, so I trust his judgment. Okay, Gomez says update. I'm having eggs, grits, hash browns, and bacon. <laughs> Lol a lot. <laughs> now you're making me hungry. Oh, yeah. I haven't had breakfast yet. Yeah, yeah, hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. Anymore? Oh, that was close. <laughs> Oops. That's there the we last go. Of them. You enjoyed that? Well, I killed Newt? No, but I mean, you gotta admit they're pretty goddamn annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Here, give me your hand. Okay. Uh, Obscure Banks has never had grits. It's on my list. Heard it's good. Same. I've never eaten grits. I honestly don't really know what it is. Or... Steady. I always imagine it's like hash browns, but I know it's not. I got this. All right. God, you wouldn't want to twist your ankle in here. Careful. You try living like them. See how you smell after two years. No thanks. Where, where, where are we going? <laughs> try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. Oh, they're made from corn. Okay. Grits are closer to porridge. Hmm. Definitely something to try. No uh bullet holes, no sign of a violence or attack. Hemlock. Jesus. Over here. Is that the uh centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. Okay. Uh oh. We got bots. Guess I should have done a better job of hiding the bike. All right. Let's do this. Let's see if our remote bombs are still there. Uh, hold up, we have a question. We, <laughs> we're talking about grits now. Um, shrimp and grits is nice? Really? Question for pancakes. What kind of syrup does one prefer? I like maple syrup from Vermont. Uh, Passionfly is asking, how am I today? I'm now hungry and want pancakes. <laughs> Boysenberry. I'm turning more American by the day, says James. Yesterday was the most British I felt in years. Yeah. Uh, the answer to the question, what kind of syrup do you like? Yes, syrup. Stay all of all of the syrup. Yeah, good idea. Stop shooting, Sarah. Let the freaks get him. Hey, take cover. I got him. Sarah! Oh shit! <gasps> A person set themselves on fire! Alright, while we're doing this, I need to get a photo mode picture. Well, I probably shouldn't do a, a picture of Sarah for the thumbnail. It's kind of a spoiler. Oh shit, that's weird. Yeep. 
ah, I was going to get a photo mode picture of her shooting the gun, but I don't want to do um, spoilery th thumbnails necessarily. Yeah. Hey, we're supposed to be killing that guy. <laughs> she shot him right as I was trying to kill him. Clear as it's gonna get. Let's move. Teamwork. Damn, too soon. Second too soon. Shit. Yay! Got one of them. So if you plant them in the doorway, I guess you could get all of them. Oh, you boys are gonna get a grenade. You're gonna get a grenade so hard. How you doing on ammo? Oh. oh, come on, there we go. I can just burn him out. Is that kill him? Yeah. Let's move. Yeah. Hold on a second. I gotta get that centrifuge. Okay. Okay. Cool, so yeah, putting bombs right in this entrance way would be a good way to take them out. You know what? I'm going to write that down in my notebook. Hold on. Well, I'm just going to write it on the spit of paper for now. All right, let's catch up with the chat. Um... Goma says, what is a boysenberry? Uh, it's actually, it's a, yes, there we go. Passion flower. I was going to say, it's a thing that was a mix of berries, but I don't remember. Passion flower has the answer. The boysenberry is a cross among the European raspberry, European blackberry, American dewberry, and loganberry. It is a large eight gram aggregate fruit with large seeds, seeds and a deep maroon color. Yeah. Boysenberry syrup for the win. Uh, you know you made it when the bots show up? Yes. Yes, definitely. Thank you, bots. Boys and Berries have a cool story that even involves Walter Knotts of Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah. Obscure says your playstyle is very entertaining. Well done, badass. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I, I just, I love this game. And I love finding new ways to fuck with the bad guys. There he is. He had an RPD. We haven't bought that one yet. Level four. Is that the... That's the highest level. That's a fucking good weapon right there. It's not an auto shotgun, though. The RPD is a primary weapon, I believe. Right? Not a... Uh, uh, not a special. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. You had forgotten about Knott's Berry Farm, Joni. Oh, James, you're the last of the stream was so good. Thank you. I was kind of, uh... I was kind of, like, disappointed with myself for not playing better. When I play... Okay, calm down, Deacon. When I play when I'm not streaming, it's a little different to when I'm streaming. There's that little voice in your head that, that 
wants you to keep playing and play really well and don't make any mistakes because people are watching and go faster and all of that. And it's like, that's not really how I play. When I was warming up and I was playing The Last of Us last week, um, I played the first three hours without making any mistakes or anything like that. And it was, it was so cool. And then on the stream, I restarted a couple things because um, I kind of fucked up and I was like, ah, oh, I'm playing so bad. But um, uh, but yeah, I think I think it still worked OK. Uh, James says, Claire, do you prefer open world games like this or more linear games like The Last of Us? Definitely more linear games, though I love this game. I consider this, I know it's an open world game, but I consider this so story focused. It feels like a linear game to me. It's not something where um, you have too many things going on. I don't like I. I get kind of antsy and, and anxious when I have unfinished things. So I don't like open world games where they uh, they give you, like Odyssey. I had to give up on Odyssey, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, because it was just too many threads going on at once and then too much grinding. And I didn't know where I was in the story. And then I found fucking Atlantis. And I was like, what the fuck is Atlantis doing in this? This makes no sense. And that was when I gave up. And that was when I played Days Gone. I was like, I just need some little filler in between fun 10 hour long game. We know how that worked out. Um, the RPG, okay, the RP, RPG, RPD is a special. My mistake. Passionflower says, Not Halloween Haunt is coming. Captain Caffeine, uh, yeah, the RPD is a special like the MG45 and 55. I think I'm thinking of the, what am I thinking of? Rock Chuck? Is that the primary? I honestly don't know because I only play with the auto shotgun, the SMP9 in those two slots. And then I'll switch between the Talon 7, the BFG, the, um, the crossbow, the MG45 and the MG55. Those are the only guns I use, except for, you know, when you have to use early game guns or like uh, Schizo's rifle, that kind of thing. Uh, Obscured says... I watched the making of The Last of Us. Wow, the death scene with Sarah is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a place you would go to see when you would visit Disneyland as a very young child. Yeah, I miss Knott's Berry Farm. I was watching a Disney movie the other day and it had the opening, you know, the castle with the fireworks and Tinkerbell flies over. And I was like, oh, fuck, I miss Disney. I really miss Disneyland, Disney World. I used to go there all the time when I first moved here. I had an annual pass back when it was affordable. And uh, shit, yeah, I just, I fucking miss it so much. Now it's like crazy. It's so busy all the time. They did away with the Southern California discounts for like residents because they want to discourage people from going a lot so they can make more money off of tourists and charge like $200 for a fucking two-day pass. Uh, it used to be a hundred. I paid a hundred and thirty for my pass that got me into both theme parks all year round. As certain days were blacked out. Um, yeah, I went on like Christmas Day and shit like that. That was how I spent my first Christmas in the states. I didn't. I, I couldn't afford to go home for Christmas. I was on my own. I they allowed the college students. I was in, at college. They allowed you to stay there, but of course the cafeteria and everything was shut down. So there's nothing to do. Um, they had a kitchen that you could go use to cook food, but that was it. Um, so I was there on my own. All my friends had all gone home. I had nobody, nothing to do. It was like Christmas Day. I was really sad, and I went to Disney. And I had a cream cheese stuffed pretzel. Holy shit, that was good. Fucking love that. And then in the evening, I went to downtown Disney, and I had a um, gin martini at one of the bars there. Yeah. Anyway, Knotts has had a Halloween event since 1973. Yeah, I didn't really hang out at Knotts Bray Farm. I went once or twice. Went to the downtown area or whatever and had pie and stuff like that a couple times. Um, but yeah, Knotts Bray Farm didn't have quite the same allure for me. The Rock Chuck has a permanent suppressor. I believe so. Yes. The Rock Chuck is a primary. Yeah, Captain Caffeine. That's the one I'm thinking of. Okay, let's do this. All right, let's do this. Hey! <laughs> we both said the same thing at the same time. Yep. Huh. 
Oh shit, that was supposed to be a grenade. What the fuck? Keep throwing the wrong things. Burn, you asshole. There we go. See, now I wish I had my BFG. I don't know what was going on with my aim there. Where are you going? Oh, that's Sarah. <laughs> I was like, where's that person running? Sarah, how about you throw some of those smoke bombs you were going on about? Them. Do it. Ready. Oh, there we go. Yeah, move up on me. Come at me, bro. Ooh, I don't think that got him at all. I see you, mate. Hey, how easy they see you in this bit. Yeah, run at him. Do it. Do it. Still standing. Seriously? <laughs> He's just standing right on top of that. Ooh, that's a good shot. Look at that. Whoa! Holy shit, look at that. Look at that, that's fucking cool. I don't know how to capture that. I guess like that. Damn. That's fucking awesome. Whoa, that one's good. I love that little pipe bomb at his feet. Hey, dude. The bullets flying out and everything. Look at that. And he's all crispy because he's being set on fire. That's fucking awesome. I kind of wish the background wasn't so cluttered.
There we go. That's cool. Yeah. Uh-oh. We've got more bots. There we go. Uh, Disneyland in California. Says Joni, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Um, oh, such a lovely Christmas story. Yeah, such a lonely Christmas story. That too. Ah, uh, what else did I miss? Damn, Passion Plus is the Oogie Boogie Bash 2022 tickets at Disney, $139 sold out, not Scary Farm, 60 bucks. Photo mode is so awesome in this game. Yes, it is. They are a completely different experience, though Knots is not recommended for kiddos. Yeah, honestly, don't think I would. I haven't been. I think I dare. Ooh, that's good. Look at that. Tons of pictures of this dude. So fucking awesome. Look at the blue in the flames as well. It's a blue purple. I'll stop fucking around with this. <laughs> Is he dead? Are you still not dead? Now you're dead. Okay, hold on. Fuck yeah, it is. Well, I'm gonna loot a lot first. Med kit inventory full. Okay, let's refill on everything that we can. Use the med kit. There we go. Now we can collect everything. Another med kit. There's so much stuff here. Ammo, yes please. Don't mind if I do. Hey sir, oh, okay. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare up those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. Yeah. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Joni, in with some history there. Disneyland started in the what? L.A. area. Yeah, yeah it did. To you, sir. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. <laughs> explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I. Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just wanted to get if that you say thing. So. Hey, Deacon, wait for oh me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. Don't leave without me! I'm not going I'm not. Anywhere. I'm trying to loot. You're the one leaving without me. Just Got let it. me loot stuff, please.
Please. Hey, hey, I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, it was the I think the the mid '60s Joni, and um, it's uh, yeah Disneyland was the first one in in California, and then you can see the difference between Disneyland and Disney World in Florida when they realized how popular it was going to be. They built it so there's a lot more room, there's a lot more space um, for like the rides and for people queuing up and things like that. Disneyland feels very small and very crowded by comparison. <laughs> Lonely traveler, you're addicted to photo mode. So even there in the tips that told you to avoid hordes until you're more powerful, powerful enough to take them on. How Deacon's like being super Can casual. I say thank you. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. The centrifuge or going out on a run with Deacon? You're welcome. Aww. New mission unlocked. Throw them in the furnace. Oh, that's the, uh, the speech. Oh, uh-oh. We're coming up to the dock. This is, I think, the last scene with the dock. Oh, we go and Wade's guard in the tent. All right, let's save it here. We can... All right, I think this is a good place to close it down for today. Um, I have to go eat some breakfast. I'm fucking starving. All this talk about grits and hash browns and pancakes. Yeah, Captain Caffeine, that little you're welcome mumble at the end. Can I say thank you? No, but you're welcome. <laughs> Aw. Aw, Deacon. All right, everyone. Uh, last reminder of the links. Uh, if you want to contribute to the channel and uh, show your support, you can do so at buymeacoffee.com slash 8bitterror. That's where you can either do a one-time contribution or you can become a member. A membership starts at $1 a month. There are various different levels, lots of different perks that you can get. So go check it out. And a big shout out to my channel members, Miranda Satin, Captain Caffeine, and Basics of Pain. Thank you, guys. You know, I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, if you want to check out merch, that's at daysgonepodcast.threadless.com. Lots of different designs and different products that you can buy there. T-shirts, tanks, long sleeve tees, sweaters, kid stuff, art prints, mugs, notebooks, buttons, pins, stickers, the whole shebang. Uh, that's at daysgonepodcast.threadless.com. Um, and come join our Discord. There will be a link somewhere in the chat. Um, Rex is probably going to put it in in just a second. And, uh, yeah, so coming up next, let's see, it is Friday. So tonight I will be over on the Spornicus Rex channel. There he is in the chat. Make sure you go find his uh, channel. Hit subscribe. You'll get a notification. We are doing it at 9 p.m. tonight, Mountain Time. So 11 hours from now. And we are playing Dying Light. It's a co-op playthrough of Dying Light. So, yeah, come join over there. Join us over there and uh, hang out. I will be back with more Days Gone on Monday. Uh, but in the meantime, I will also be back on this channel Sunday evening, 9 p.m. for Sniper Sunday. We're doing Zombie Army Trilogy and we're closing in on the end of the second chapter. And I just remembered that past Claire fucked me over and left me in a really tricky spot. But I do have a plan. Do have a game plan. So join us 9 p.m., uh, Sunday night on this channel for Zombie Army Trilogy. Um, okay. Thank you to all my supporters. Thank you to everyone for being here. I really appreciate you guys. I love starting my day with you all. Make sure you hit like on the video. Make sure you're subscribed to get those notifications. Uh, go check out the podcast episode. I will be posting that on the channel later today. Um, yeah. Happy Friday, everyone. 
Have an awesome start to your weekend or getting close to the weekend. And I will see you all later. As always, stay safe out there. Bye, guys.